You know, the worst injury I ever got in the shop was from a hot glue gun. Great. Do you have your hands insured? They're like, I don't. Ah! Really Speaking of. <laughs> Hey, greetings there, fellow makers. Welcome down to not my shop. I'm in Evil Ted's shop because I'm in LA with my friend. Ellie Spagnola. And you do also awesome YouTube videos among many other things. I do, music and comedy and paintings. And so painting. that on my channel. Excellent, so we're doing a project, a couple projects together today. Uh, and you may even see uh, assistant Evil Ted popping in here and there. <laughs> so the story goes, uh, years ago, we decided to do a trade. Mm -hmm. You made a painting for me, yeah. and it took you a couple of years to get that to me. That's true. And that was a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. The trade was I was gonna make you a Marvin the Martian helmet, yeah. and I didn't do that yet. So we're gonna do that today. I'm really glad you kept yourself honest, because yes. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. We're in Ted's shop, we have all the supplies. I'm gonna steal all of Ted's phone, but we're gonna make a Marvin the Martian helmet. I'm so, stoked. to get started, Ted loaned us some of his fantastic templates for a helmet. Uh, if you want to get Ted's helmets, they're available on his website, or his templates, I should say. That's EvilTedSmith.com. <laughs> Where did you come from? Uh, yeah, so you can go grab some templates from Ted and make your own. So what I've done is I modified it a little bit to look more like uh, Marvin the Martian's helmet. Otherwise, uh, we're just going to cut out, trace and cut out sort of stuff. So you can start tracing or cutting, I should say. I'm gonna hand you a knife. Okay. Try not to make me regret that. <laughs> but the line we're going with is right there. Okay. The darker, bolder one. Got it. So go ahead and start punching that out. And I can grab some foam that we have right here. We're going with floor mats. In fact, this is the helmet that Ted designed. So that's what we're basing this off of. Here's just a big old floor mat. We're gonna use this for the, most of the base of it. And I can start by tracing out the middle part of the helmet while Allie's doing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Evil Ted Hand. <laughs> and I'm just gonna trace this out and we can get to cutting here pretty soon. We can edit out all the dead air. Or be charming while we're doing <laughs> this. I don't know if I've had enough coffee to be charming. Have you done any sort of making like this before? I like did one painting video where he this guy, um, Blake, taught me how to do stenciling, so I've specifically been on my channel like using a razor like this, or what is it called? What this kind of knife is. But what about like gluing chunks of foam together? Nope, nothing totally like that. Totally new, great. Well, this is a good one for anyone out there who might be totally new to yeah. foam fabrication. All you have to do is get your friend who wrote a book on it to help you make a helmet. Absolutely. Or you could just go get that book. Yeah, and then anyone that's seen Bill for the first time from my channel said he makes awesome stuff. You should see him at Dragon Con. He oh, yeah. Some crazy cosplay. So, here's the pattern I've traced out on the foam. We can look at the camera up there, like this. There's a pattern right there. And I can start cutting that out. Now, that one we're going to make two of, one for either side. Okay. So. That's what's gonna happen. And then can I get one of those knives right there? Great, thanks. What I'm gonna do is just block this out and cut out a big chunk, and then I will refine it with less floor mat to deal with. So this mat, you know, you put on the floor so you can sit down, right? Would this make me a butt head? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh is what makes it. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm just using a super sharp knife here to cut out along the lines, and I'm trying to make sure those cuts are as perpendicular as possible. Uh, when you're cutting it out, mm -hmm. we'll do a little more of an in-depth tutorial. Okay. I'm learning. I didn't even know I'd be learning, I just figured I'd be watching. No, no, no. That's not how we operate around here. We're a very hands-on uh, production. Great, so this is looking really good, if we show it right there. Uh, these are the registration marks, and you could cut those out by hand, or use a special tool, thank you, Ted, that's designed specifically for punching out little registration marks. So it's like a hole punch, and you just punch out the edge like huh. that. Cool. Yeah. I just got one of those, yeah, on Evil Ted's recommendation, and it is the best thing ever. Whoa. 
Do you need a professional registration marker because I could just do this for you all day? Uh, well, uh, Super satisfying. Ted is local and I'm sure he could use the help. <laughs> there is something really satisfying about using a tool that is specifically designed to do one thing and it does that one thing. Alton Brown talks about that and he hates A it. unitasker, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna finish cutting this out. Actually, you can start tracing that. So, let's get you some foam. What you wanna do is trace out one side and then make sure you flip it over to trace out the other side. Okay. Uh, and then just use your Sharpie and just make sure that you make a mark in there. So just hold this down or you can pin it down as Evil Ted is wont to do. Boop. And then it won't move. Perfect. Sweet. Just trace it. Somehow ends up with a mustache. <laughs> like, I don't have to wear this helmet. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you need to add any sort of embellishments for your own purposes, go for it. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do once I can be Mar in the Martian. Yeah. It's got to be some, like, comment on the state of the planet and how I'm going to create an earth-shattering kaboom. It's a... It's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Or maybe it's just Marvin the Martian goes to Whole Foods. <laughs> so I've glued up or cut out the top part of the helmet here. Uh, so that's ready to go. And then uh, once you get that first part traced out, I can start cutting it. And then the last part we can have you cut out. Yeah. So here, I'll remove that part of the floor mat. And then you can flip that over and trace the other side, and I'll start cutting this one out. I'm trying to find the most efficient use of the space. Oh yeah. There you go. In case you want floor mat for other stuff. Heaven forbid Ted runs out of floor mats. I had a buddy of mine. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> uh, I had a buddy of mine. I helped him out in the shop, and he gifted me probably about 30 of these. Oh wow. Just on Amazon, he ordered them and, and more floor mats than I know what to do with showed up. So you know what I did? This is crazy. You covered your floor? I put them on the floor! <laughs> I feel like you're probably way faster than me in this too. I've done this a lot. I don't know if I've gotten any better at painting after having done about 2,700 of them. Oh jeez. But I'm faster. Yes, definitely. Speed is definitely, have you, do you still do one a day? I don't. Okay. I'll do them in like chunks and then take a break. Yeah. But for a while you were doing one a day. And yep. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, for like six years. Yeah. So this is funny. Seven years I've been doing it. And had some YouTubing to do instead. Oh yeah. It's been long enough, I should paint for you again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twist my arm. I've been using this knife quite a bit. It's starting to get dull and I can sharpen it. Uh, I do need some WD-40. Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks, Ted. So I'm gonna put a little bit of WD-40 on the sharpener here and run it across this like that and like that. Freshen up the edge, wipe off the WD-40 a bit. That. And now it's nice and sharp, we can test. Very nice. So now it's a, time for a cutting lesson. Basically, you can practice on a little chunk there. Mm -hmm. You want to keep this from going side to side, so keep it as straight up and down as possible. Uh, hold this because it's going to want to slide. And then you don't want to cut like that. You want to cut like as flat as possible, so just like that. Give that a try on that chunk. Oh, definitely made it look easier than it. Right. <laughs> See, and if it doesn't go all the way yeah. through, just run it through again, and you're good to go. Uh, you've been doing this a while. A little bit. So start by going on this line here yeah. and just bury the, the point in there and cut on the line. There's no way this will go wrong. Do you aim to be like the center of the black line? Or I usually go on the inside, inside, inside if I can, okay, but well, I if it's, I mean, we're not, we're not making medical equipment here. Yeah, look at that. So then you can go all the way around. Uh, this part is like Pac-Man mouth. Yeah. Uh, you can do the same thing, just start at the point and cut yeah. back a couple times. Yeah, it's fine. It and it's inefficient to two cutter. That's okay. I'll get there. I'll learn it. How lucky is this mat that it ends up being a helmet? 
Yeah, I know. This could have been under some mechanic's feet for the rest of its yeah. life. But instead, it gets to be a Marvin the Martian helmet. I like to think when I'm walking through the, the hardware store, the floor mats are like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> All right, sweet. So yeah, right, keep it going. All right, I'm gonna start gluing up the seams on this. For that, I like to use barge. Oh, hey, look at that. We've got a glue pot full of barge. Thank you, Ted. And this stuff is fairly toxic, but it's really, really good. Uh, so we're gonna try not to huff it, but we're in a fairly well-ventilated area. And I'm going to brush it on the seams so that we can glue these two seams together. Like so. That fan helps too. I've got a little bit of buildup in there and I can use a chunk of foam to clean that out. There we go, chunk of foam. And I can just use that to kind of clean this out. And you can even use these chunks of foam to spread the extra barge out a little bit. That helps a lot too. Like that, so that edge is all glued up. I can let that dry and then press it together and I'll glue the other side. How's things going over in Cutland? Coming along. Good. I have now an inefficient three cutter. <laughs> that may mean you need to sharpen up the blade. Yes, yes, let's blame the blade. Yeah, it's always the tools. It's always the wand, never the magician. I haven't blown it yet, so that's good. She said as she grew it. <laughs> Boy, stuff dries really fast here in Southern California. <laughs> this is nuts. So you let it dry and then stick them together. Yeah, so that's that's how the contact cement works. And what's great about that is you have time to touch it, and when it when it touches, it it bonds. So you don't have to squeeze it and hold it. Oh, it just like immediately is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't heat gun this. It'll be fine. I'll heat gun it afterwards. Spread that out a little bit. Anywhere I see a pool of, of the glue, I try and spread it out a little bit. There we go. Um, to help form this into a more round shape, we're gonna heat gun it first, just to give it a, make it a little bit more pliable. Man, this is a, this is a really beefy looking heat gun. <laughs> I, I need to get a big kid's heat gun. Yeah, so I'm just rounding this out a bit so that it'll help us get the final form. Like so. My head. This actually kind of flares out a bit. We can form that later. But yeah, that helps give it a little bit more shape. How'd I do, Sensei? Hey, all right. You want to do the same thing? Just warm it up Sweet. carefully without burning yourself on the heat gun. It's just on. Just warm up both sides. You'll see it get kind of shiny. You don't want to burn it. I won't let it go that far though. That should be pretty good. And then just by hand, just kind of round it a bit. You know, make it, help it get vaguely helmet shaped. This dart right here, we can fill in. I'm going to use more barge for that. Uh, just like I did on the top of the helmet. Let that dry. And then you can do the similar thing on that one. So you just get a little bit of glue, you don't need a lot, and then just cover both of these inner edges on that. And it'll get all bound up in there and you'll use this to scoop some of that out. So. Nothing we've done so far is irreversible, so Great. just go nuts. While you're doing that, I'm going to press the two halves of this together and line up those marks. So this is forming the, part, the top part of the helmet. And because the contact cement grabs right away, you just push it together. And as it touches, it bonds. So just take your time and you get a really nice seam. Just like that. And then I can do the other side. And... Ah, it's 3D when it was 2D. Isn't that nuts? That's super cool. I'm actually gonna fold it inside out to press that seam together better. Oh. So that, like if this yeah, pops it's open, it's not a big deal. But this one we wanna be nice and smooth. Then because I didn't heat that up earlier, I'm gonna do that this time. Do it now. Here, you can press that one together. 
When I asked for the spoon, I didn't know I'd be such a big part of it. <laughs> That's how we roll, though. I would rather show someone how to make something than just make something for them. Yes, teach a man to make a helmet. <laughs> he'll have a helmet after this. My favorite saying is, build a man a fire, he'll be warm for a night. Light a man on fire, he'll be warm for the rest of his life. <laughs> well, I'm helmets for the rest of my life. Guys, I'm a helmet channel now. Yep. Go subscribe on YouTube, I'm only making helmets. <laughs> Alright. That scene wants to pop apart to be in a butt. Alright, so can you predict what's going to happen next? Um, With the helmets. I'm going to look like a Looney Tunes character. <laughs> That's later. That's many steps from now. It's just the seam isn't quite holding together, but it could be that we just rushed it on the, on the glue. Here, let's just take it apart. I'm gonna just put a little more glue on it. When the camera's recording, I'm always like, rush, hurry, 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 ah! Okay, let's see if this one's... You know what else? I'm gonna put a second layer on this one anyway. Just for safety. Safety first, that's why we're making a helmet. Yeah. I've had people ask me to make them like a custom uh, uh, airsoft mask. And, like, look, you do not, that would look cool, but you do not, I do not want to be responsible for the safety of your eyeballs. Yeah. Fast forward a little bit, we made some progress. A couple of things that I did off camera was I made this for the top part of his visor thing. So I just freehanded a little template there. Uh, and then we glued up the seams to put the helmet completely together. So I'll do one side, you do the other side, right. and it'll be fine. Uh, this is the front of the helmet. That's very important to remember. And then you just line up the edges there, and then you just put it together getting these dots to line up. Up. Oh. That's how good the contact yeah. is. So that goes like that. Watch and we just me. do that. And then we try and get those two lines to line up. <laughs> okay. There we go. I also brushed on two layers of barge on here just to make sure it's a really strong connection and then let it dry for a good 10 minutes. Let me just go all the way around like that. No matching up. It's like that Ted guy knows what he's talking about when he makes templates. Impressive. I would imagine Ted has made hundreds of helmets like this. He has a very safe head. Oh yeah. Okay, and then ah, you can sort so of cool. press that together. Get the, that seam nice and tidy. All right, I got this. All right, so that's Watch one side. Happen. So you have to set the other side together. So that part, point goes right there. All right. It grips so, immediately. So much focus. Yeah. Yeah, Barge doesn't mess around. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> While you're doing that, I'm going to trace out the visor. This is just another piece of floor mat. You know what? I might cut this out on the bandsaw. You can bandsaw foam? Yeah, it's the best. This is the visor part. I'll clean that up a little bit. It's cool. gonna go like that. Just like Mar Marvin the Martian. <laughs> cool. So that is pretty good. You can press that together a little bit. And call it awesome. All right, so the next thing we'll do, I think we can just glue this down. Uh, and then we gotta make the broom part for the top. Yeah. So well, that's what's coming up next. Okay, more time has elapsed, but I made the visor that's gonna go on the front of the helmet here. And I think just to make it quick, we're gonna hot glue it. So you hold on to that. I will hot glue this up and then I will place it. And we've already practiced. We know where it's gonna go right there. Put it on my face. We put it on Ellie's face. So I'm gonna throw that on the ground. I feel like you need it. Yeah. And this is going to go down, okay. You really are a kindergartner for a living, it's awesome. Yep. Okay, so let's hold it up like that and I can kind of eyeball where that's supposed to go. 
perfect. Nice and do that. And then we just stand here for a while. Until we become one. Yeah. And I do have a little time to like adjust it, but once it cools down, it's pretty well there. All right. So here, why don't we, you can hold, just pinch those closed. Great. Uh, in the meantime, I have these two pieces of 20 millimeter foam. I believe Ted got this stuff from TNT Cosplay. And I put barge on a side of each one and I'm gonna laminate these together. We're gonna use this to make the broom. And I need this to be thicker. So I've just glued this together to make one mega foam block like that. And I've also designed my custom broom shape, like Free so. Freehanded it, yeah. Art school, paying off every day. Heck yeah. And I'm gonna trace that onto this now mega foam block, and then I will cut that out on the bandsaw. Ta-da! <laughs> that is the broom. Let me see if I can get that, there we go. So that's the broom that goes on top there. And then there's like a base part on it, so we'll cut that out of, you guessed it, more foam. Oh. And I can basically just lay this down. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, and trace it and then kind of figure it out from there. You need a third hand? Nah, he's got uh, it. I got it, yeah. I will have you cut this out though. Okay. Great. So you can cut this out. Yay. That's still plugged in, so let's be careful. Uh, but you can use a ruler on this one. So there's your ruler. There's a sharp knife somewhere. Got it. There you go. Move my coffee out of the way, which is now mostly foam dust. Mm -hmm. Here, let's move this over a little bit and do it right there. So just cut on that line and then that one and we're good to go. You may find this foam cuts a little nicer than yeah. the floor mats. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Cool. Here, we'll rotate that 90. Give that a cut. I know. That's how the spoiled, uh, charmed life that we live with TNT cosplay oh, yeah. foam. So the idea is that will get glued on the bottom of this, like that. Uh, Let's make like that little ridge. Right? I know, right? I'm so excited. Cool, so what we'll do is we'll goop this up with barge and that with barge and we'll glue it together. And then we're gonna do the, um, the post on that. So that's what we're gonna do next. And we'll see you guys all on the other side. What you guys missed was me putting glue on this, but that's fine. It was exciting. Oh, so exciting. Um, but this is glued up and we're just gonna stick those together. And I'll just do that because it's not too tricky like that. Glue that together. And then where does that go? Um, over his head. Yeah, let's showcase that like this so. And it goes like that. Sweet. I think that looks pretty awesome. So to connect that, it looks like there's just a post. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a PVC pipe and a PVC cutter. And I'm just gonna cut a length of this arbitrarily and we'll attach it like this. And these things are awesome. That's terrifying and awesome. Just like that. So we have a spot where we think this is gonna go, and we have a spot where this should go on here. But we need a hole, and it would be great is if we had a drill with a hole saw. Oh, hey, look at that, that's perfect, thanks, Ted. <laughs> so there's a hole saw on there, and I can just drill a hole in that. So let's see how this goes. I've never used a hole saw to do this before. That was perfect. Wow. <laughs> Easy lobotomy. And that can go in there. It's a little loose, so we'll, we'll uh, put some hot glue in there to shore that up, and I think we'll be all right. There we go. You know, the worst injury I ever got in the shop was from a hot glue gun. Great. You have your hands insured, babe. I don't. Ah! Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, what a great idea from Evil Ted. This is the little thin piece of crap foam I got right here in the scrap <laughs> New plan. We're going to put a piece of foam in there so I don't have to hold it. Oh, there's a pin in there now. 
that goes. So this is going to go down first. Now we've got a spot that we can just fill with hot glue. And then we can put it in there. And my hands don't have to be anywhere near it. All right, so just go ahead and put a bunch of hot glue in there. It's like icing. Yeah. Deadly icing. <laughs> All right, here we can put more in if we have to, but I'm gonna okay. put that in like so. Okay. And then just kind of fill it in around the sides. While you're doing that, I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this, carefully, with a hole saw. Didn't quite, oh, there we go. I can peel that layer off there. And then this should, yeah, that'll take a while to, to uh, cool down. But ideally, this is gonna go, let's just do a test fit. All right. Oh, yeah. I think we need to let this cool off all yeah, the way good. because it's, it's coming down a little bit. So let's just let that do its thing and cool off. This is compelling video content <laughs> yeah. right here. Literally watching glue dry. I was looking at Marvin the Martian like online when we started talking about doing this. And apparently he's a character, like an evil character that's supposed to be the opposite of, of Daffy Duck and Porky Pig and Elmer Fudd who are just like, or not Porky Pig, Elmer Fudd, who are just like incompetent yeah. and like no, no contest for Bugs Bunny. They wanted someone to be like smart and yeah. actually dangerous, not like stupid and like bumbling and non-threatening. Yeah. So like this guy, they made it so he actually has a device that can destroy the earth. And he's actually smart, not a screw up. All right, so um, we, I think we can start painting. We can just leave that to Let it chill. Out. chill. So we can start painting on this guy here. Great, while that is cooling off, we're gonna start painting the broom part here. I figure we can start with the yellow uh, for the top part. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this is just an acrylic paint and we'll get a little bit of it. And we can hold the bottom, which will be orange, and then apply paint to the top. And Ted has put paper down so that oh, I goodness. don't make a mess. And then just paint it. So I'm gonna hand it off to you Sweet. because you have a lot more painting experience than I do. Even walls too, I used to paint uh, at my old high school. I painted yeah. all of the walls. <laughs> Did you do some murals? Over the summer. No, 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 just one color. Oh. <laughs> but I'm super good at edging without even taping. All right. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna just keep it, take it on. Um, I'm gonna put a little more hot glue in this now that it's cooled down, just to shore it up a tiny bit. Let me go in front of you with this cord. There we go. So we're just gonna reinforce that a little bit more. And then I can probably start painting this, which is gonna be green. Martian green. So I have more green paint here, or more paint only in a green color. And what's great, another advantage of being in Southern California is we can put this out in the sun and it will dry Super fast, because I am impatient. Is it sunny today in LA? Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Always. So I've just got green paint, and I'm just brushing that all over this helmet. Oh, it's looking so cool already. Pretty cool. It's good green too. These are leather working paints. I talk about these all the time. They're Angelus leather working paints. They're acrylic, they're really flexible, so I like them for costumes. If you have a Tandy leather or any other leather working supply store near you, you can go get some. Every step of this has been so satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, I really like these paints. And this is like a floor mat. This yeah. is like $3 worth of materials. Yeah, but like billions of dollars of worth of time and talent. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So we're going to keep painting these. That looks pretty great. I think what we can do is set that out in the sun for like 10 minutes. It'll be good. And then we can paint the other cool. side. And then I'm going to keep painting this. 
All right, because of the hot LA sun, this is mostly dry, it's a little tacky. I would hold it from the top gently, and then you can paint the whole brim around the bottom of the broom. In the meantime, the little stump that we hot glued into the top of the helmet, I glued that the same orange color, and it is now outside drying. In fact, I see that the paper is rolling up on it, Ted, so if you could save it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Just stand on the paper, Ted, for the next 10 minutes or so, that'd be great. <laughs> I got a thumbs up from Ted. Paper <laughs> uh, and this is just about the last step. So we'll get that painted up, we'll let that dry, and then we can glue everything back together. And that'll be kind of the last uh, last bit there. And then we can call it good. And I like these bright uh, colors too, very cartoony. That's a sweet YouTube Red backpack you have. Well, thank you, I got it at VidCon last year. I like YouTube Red. I don't. What do you no. watch on there? What do I watch? Yeah. I watch lots of YouTube videos. Oh no, I don't watch YouTube Red. I just watch YouTube without ads. Oh, got it. Got that's it, got that's it. the. I just like the, not having the ads. Yeah. I'll I'll be at my brother's house. We'll watch YouTube, and an ad comes up. I'm like, what is this? Flippian. <laughs> Enjoy you your advertisements, <laughs> peasant. <laughs> and besides, we get to watch super cool videos that our friends make. I only watch myself on YouTube. Yeah, that's fair. Gotta get those views up somehow. <laughs> So there we go, last bit. I think one good layer is good. We'll put that out in the sun, let it dry, and then we'll glue everything together. Ta-da! Heck yeah! Yeah! So the last thing we did was to glue this back, glue this on with more hot glue, safely, without burning anyone. And then we have to put this on your noggin to make it fit nice and snug. We have some upholstery foam, some squishy foam. We'll just hot glue this in there so that it holds in place and then it'll be snug on your head. Sweet. All right, so. Why don't you cover the back of that in hot glue okay. and then hand it to me safely. Ooh, smoking. Yeah. And then I will put it in place. That'll probably be enough to hold yeah. it. Gotta get the edges too. Okay, carefully and safely, I'm going to put that in the helmet. Oops. Yeah, pull the back. There we go. Good job, team. Yay. So this is just going along the top of the helmet. That looks pretty all right. Pretty all right. And then put some on the back of that. Oh no, the front. There's not a back there. No, there okay. isn't. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'll put this. <laughs> it's like handling okay. napalm. Put this on one side. I have to hold that in there for a little bit, I think. But that's gonna go in the side there, like that. So just hold off on that glue until this is good and stuck. All right, careful. It is looking like a batting helmet in there. It, yeah. That looks like it'll be all right there. And we do wanna wait for this to totally cool off before you try and put it on. I know, but I'm excited. Cause you'll. Yeah, because see this other one already fell off. It, hasn't, yeah. it just takes so long to cool. It becomes a vlog about how I go bald. <laughs> yeah, if you did that, you would uh, put it on, it would peel back the foam, and the, then you would get hot glue in your hair, Great. and ultimate sadness. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be patient. This looks so cool. When I was biking here, I was like, how, how is he gonna do this? Obviously I had no vision, you're the genius here. I use Ted's templates, although I have a similar template that's, yes, I think, quite good. As a matter of fact, we both have helmet templates in our store. Very you guys good. Definitely go check them out. Ted's my new hype guy. <laughs> Give it a go. If you feel that like the foam is peeling off, then stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it rides a little high. That's pretty perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, where's my gun? How's it look? That looks this great. Dope. That looks great. Oh, I'm so happy. Awesome. Well, did you learn a couple things today? Yes, absolutely. If you felt if you if someone handed you glue, foam, and a knife, you think you and the template, you think you could probably pull it off? Mm, yes. After absolutely. going no back and reviewing this video. <laughs> Good. Sure. Well, hopefully the folks at home feel the same way. Uh, thanks, Allie. This was a ton of fun. Thanks, I'm Bill. glad to finally reciprocate on our drunken Dragon Con deal from three years ago. 
Uh, of course, we did a video on Allie's channel. We painted this Marvin the Martian gun. So you guys ought to go check that one out. That was a good time. And that's all I got. Go check, where, where do people go to check out your stuff? Uh, my YouTube is slash Allie Spags. That's the one and it's worth it absolutely to go see uh, all her cool shenanigans over there. Thanks again. Thank you. See you guys in the next build. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.